we're gonna start doing some some e-collar training with Uso. I'm gonna start getting him used to the e-collar because we're gonna be using it for a very serious problem that he has that you guys might all know. So this is his e-collar, it's all charged. Okay, so real quick, um, what some people do is they put the e-collar on and they go straight into training, but I'm not going to do that because I think what might happen is that the dog will associate me putting on that collar with corrections because what some people do is they put it on and they go straight to training and they, you know, click, click, click. They give them that stimulus and it's at the end of the day they're corrections right if the dog's not doing something right they correct and so what i do is that i put the collar on and instead of going straight to training we uh play and so i put the collar on and i don't have the remote on me i actually don't even know where the remote's at it might be in my room so i just put it on so that way he gets used to it and um, eventually as we start playing he'll forget that they that it's even on and i will show you how uh, i'm going to play with him today i'm going to give him a big reward and we're just going to play with all a bunch of different uh toys and tools so you guys can see how i really motivate uso these are the tools i'm going to be playing with this is his number one favorite thing right Uso? we got a little tug toy this is a tug here i got a I took him to bite work and he sucks at biting so we're gonna start training him how to bite better and I don't really know how to do that so I'm doing my research and um, asking people around what to look for and then these are just like a just a stick distraction stick it really builds up his nerves and you know I'll show you how all that works but so these are the his toys I'm gonna be playing with him with he has the e-collar on and I'm not using it remember I just put it on there I just put it on so now we're gonna go ahead and play and so you guys I'll just record it and you guys can watch us play real quick and how I engage with my dog all right and I'm also gonna give him some treats in between playing around you know this is I love my dog and you cannot go wrong with giving your dog treats just got this at Sam's Club I'm just gonna play some tug with him all right play some tug with him Good job buddy good job buddy so probably by now he doesn't even know the e-collar is on all right he forgot all about it because I put it on and we went straight to playing I do so went straight to playing this is my method of doing the e-collar <coughs> and so later we're gonna go on the walk and he's been pulling on his walks lately. I don't know if it has to do with, uh, you know, taking the other dogs with us, but he's been pulling, so I'm gonna, I'll use corrections. That's gonna be my training session for the day with the e-collar. It's gonna be uh, while we walk. And so I'm gonna leave this e-collar on him for probably about eight hours today. That's like the max I'll leave it on him. And so probably 
when my girlfriend wakes up, we're gonna go take the two dogs for a walk and I'll start using the e-collar on him. And we'll do a, like a low, we'll do a low level stimulation. And if I need to, I can bump it up a little bit, but this is all preparation for a big correction that's coming up with a more serious um, behavioral problem. And the reason why I'm easing him to it is because I don't want, I'm kind of scared. I don't really know 100% <clears throat> if it's gonna work or not. So I'm taking it easy. I'm doing slow steps because the last thing I want to do is, is ruin our relationship. So I want to communicate with Uso as clear as possible that if I press the e-collar, it's because you're doing something bad. It's not because it's coming out of nowhere. <clears throat> it's because you're doing something bad and it's coming from me. Okay, so when you, when you feel that stimulation, <clears throat> you need to get your shit together. And um, I don't want to just go right into it and give him a big shock. I want to start low. Let him know that when you feel that sensation, it's because you're doing something wrong. And then later in the future, you guys will see why I'm doing this and the main reason why I'm using the e-collar. And it's not because of the walks. It's because of a serious aggression problem that my dog has that, can, that may be dangerous for other family members that live with us. And then when it comes down to it, family first, all right? And I love my dog very much, but <clears throat> if my dog ever bites my mom, um, you know, my sister, my brother, anybody in the family, my girlfriend, then, you know, that's, that's not okay with me and, you know, the shit's gonna happen. So I want to avoid that as much as possible. And uh, so I'm gonna try and correct that aggression problem with an e-collar. Cause I've tried a bunch of different methods and it seems like I'm gonna have to resort to corrections <clears throat> because it's either my family or the dog. And you know, at the end of the day, family comes first. All right, and so now after our little, little playing session, <laughs> Uso, Uso's tired and content. So, um, now that I spent time and played with my dog, I'm going to wait 30 minutes to an hour before I feed him his breakfast. But in the meantime, I got an hour to uh, do what I have to do. So, time to take care of the chickens, take care of the garden. And um, I will continue the video with the next step. And that's probably going to be um, when we go on the walk with my girlfriend. And for all the subscribers that have been here since day one, look at the chickens. Yo, these are those baby chickens. Now look how big they are. Oh my goodness. In a couple, maybe like in one more month, one or two months. They're all gonna be laying eggs, so we're gonna have a shitload of eggs. Let's go see if Lauren and Miss B are awake. Good morning, Miss B. How'd you sleep last night, huh? I'm telling you, this is the perfect house dog. Perfect dog for my girlfriend, right? She's a perfect dog. Whoa, whoa, watch your step. Watch your step. Don't hit her in the face. Perfect dog? Mm -hmm. Let me kiss. Okay. Let's go on a hike. Mm. And then we can cook breakfast and eat. Mm. It's nice outside. Hey. Mm. 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 Mm.
Where are you going? Oh, she probably wants to go pee now. Let's go for a hike. Walk. Oh, it's a walk. A little walk. And then we'll eat breakfast. Okay. I'm gonna go take Miss B out. Let her go pee. Finally, you're up. Huh. Man, you take up the whole bed last night. But it's okay. I've never been able to sleep on the bed with Uso because he's so damn messy. So I'm enjoying every minute of it. All right, say hello, say hello. Oh, look. She, she gonna go pee. <laughs> she just woke up, she just woke up. There you go. And there she goes. She finally found her spot to go poo. Finally, she's awake. We're gonna go on a walk. So his e-collar has been on for about two hours now. So when we go on the walk, I'm gonna be using it. And by this time, he probably has no idea that it's on. He forgot about it. All right, Miss B, you ready for your walk? You ready for your walk? Yeah, he's nasty. He's a drooler and he's a shedder. She is too, but let's do like a... Uso would be like a 10 out of a 10, the maximum. And she would be like a... Like a three or four. Yeah, three or four. She got Uso's hair on her. <laughs> she's, she's just passes. If she drooled more or shed more, she wouldn't be inside. But it's manageable. Okay, so we're going to start with our walk. I got my controller. You can see it goes all the way up to 100. 100, right? So we're going to start slow with number 10. That's just my number. That's his number. So let's go. So I just have them on a, a slip lead, right? There's no choke collar, no prong collar. So he likes to pull. You see how he's pulling? But he'll stay right there. He'll stay right, the, right at the very end. And so <clears throat> I'm not going to use the collar, the, the remote right now. I'm just going to show you what I do. Ah, 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 side, side. And I just pull him back like that. I make noise. I make a verbal correction noise. And then I pull with the leash. And so he knows, he knows he's doing wrong when we walk. And when he starts creeping up again, ah, 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 shh, 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 shh. And I'm not pressing it right now, okay guys? I'm just showing you what I do when I correct without an e-collar. Ah, 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 shh, shh, shh. pull on the leash, back, back, back. And he's just very stubborn, you know? He, he knows he's doing it wrong, but as soon as we walk again, he just, boom, lunges forward. Okay, so with this training, sit. So with this training, I'm going to be using a lot of stimulation. So I'm going to be clicking it a lot. And so because I'm doing that, I have a bag of treats. And when he behaves, I'm going to give him treats. So there's a negative and then there's a positive, right? So that's basically what I'm doing here on the walk. Ah, 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 ah. Shh, 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 shh. Come back, come back. Good. And so I'll tell you guys when I, when I start using it, okay? I'm not going to use it right away. I'm going to continue to go on the walk. I'm going to continue to use verbal corrections. Ah, ah, ah. No, no, no. And leash pressure. When I, when I pull back like this, he knows he's doing wrong. Okay. He knows he's not supposed to be walking with a tight leash. Okay. So when that happens, no, no, no. Pull him back, pull him back until he gets to the right position. Now, halfway through the walk, I'm going to be pressing the button at the same time I'm doing the leash pressure and saying no, no, no. So, by doing that, he's really connecting the dots that when he feels a sensation, it's because he's doing something wrong. And so during the walk, I'm going to slowly increase it if he becomes more stubborn. Okay. And by that, by doing this, he's really going to understand that the stimulation he's getting from the collar is because he's doing something wrong. So by the time we use it for his aggression problems, he's going to know exactly where that stimulation is coming from which is me the handler all right and that's very important like 
a lot of people mess up by putting the shot collar on dogs and using it right away on a really high number and by doing that you can really fuck up the dog because the dog's gonna be like what the fuck where the hell did that shot come from so by doing this you're you're just communicating with the dog that the shock is coming from me and I'm, it's only happening when you're doing something wrong and so that's how i'm doing it i don't i'm not this is not a how-to video okay you guys i'm learning i'm new to this so i'm just showing you my experience my ex yeah my i'm showing you um what i'm experiencing and how i'm going about this okay so this is an open invitation for dog trainers to come and help me out if they need to criticize me whatever you got to do just put it down in the comment box below okay so we're going to go ahead and walk for a little bit and i'm not going to use this yet i'll turn the camera back on when i use it there's miss b so babe what are you working on with miss b right now on this walk eye contact and not pulling and and not pulling okay so that's right we just started putting the prong collar on right and so um, right now it's connected to the flat collar and it's the same purpose as the e-collar when we put the prong collar on we don't connect it right away we walk a little bit and then now she's on the prong collar and so basically like what happens like you just treat right for focus and when she's walking good you give her treats too okay when she looks at, me. When she looks at you and then so lauren's practicing on how how to handle the prong collar as well and so this is a good team you guys okay so they're working their own thing and me and uso are working on our own thing okay yeah so this is pretty much how uso walks right here um he walks at the end of the line but doesn't really pull just enough to have tension on it and so you know it could be annoying sometimes you know but that's what we're gonna we're gonna try to get him to walk as close as, to me as possible and the goal is to not use this that much you know just want to do it a little bit at a time and you want to mix it up you don't want to just shock them shock them shock them all right you want to do a balance of shock pull back verbal correction and then treats positive too keep it positive and then over time and consistency you will get the results that you want but you can't go out with an e-collar and just zap the shit out of your dog in it and want them to learn that day you know that's how you fuck up your relationship right babe so we're doing it nice and slow that's how i'm doing it all right you guys can do it your own way this is how i'm doing it so we're about halfway towards their walk and i'm going to start using the e-collar because now this guy is just pulling he's He's starting to understand, okay, there's no rep repercussions besides a verbal ah, 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 and some tug. So he's starting to take advantage of it. So now this is what I'm going to do, okay? I'm on a level 10. So every time you hear me go ah, 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 I'm going to be pressing the e-collar. Hey, 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 ah, 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 ch -ch -ch, ah, ah, all the way until he gets back, okay? And so... If you guys use the e-collar, you know that 10, the dog can barely feel this, okay? But this is how we're starting it off. And then the more he doesn't listen, the higher I'm going to go. And I want to go high on purpose because I want him to understand that the shock that you're getting from me is because you're doing something wrong and it's coming from me, most importantly. So right now we're going to work a 10 and then halfway through we're going to go and we're going to go up. I think maximum I'm going to go up to a level 30. So every time you hear me say, ah, 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 is what I'm pressing the button and I'm pulling the leash. So it's three corrections. There's an e-collar correction, there's a leash correction, and there's a verbal correction. So that way he kind of connects everything together. Ah, 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 Good. Good boy. Okay. And then after I'm done with that, I give him some treats. Here. So that way he knows when he does something good. A treat will come. So right there is not good. Ah 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 ah. Shh, 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 shh. Ah. Hey. Shh, 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 shh. Back, back. This is hard with one oh, while holding the phone. Okay. I'm gonna wait till he starts walking up a little more. Ah 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 ah. So granted, he probably doesn't even feel the ten, right? But we're working it slowly. So now I'm gonna go up to a. 
15. Okay, and we're gonna do the same thing. So he's walking okay, he's kind of going in the front. I don't like that right there. Ah, 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 ah. Good. Good boy, okay, let me go and take out my treats because he's doing good, focus. Good boy, okay. So he gets rewarded when he's not pulling, okay? And then he gets, he gets corrections when he does pull. I want to get everything in the shot for you guys. It's really hard to do this with one hand. So he's pulling. You'll see the light on the e-collar light up when I'm pressing it. It's at a 15 right now. So he's pulling, pulling. Ah, 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 ah. Good. Good boy. And he gets some pet. He doesn't have to get treats all the time. You know, petting is good too. Good boy, good boy. I want Lauren to videotape me so that way I can demonstrate this a little better to you guys. So I'm on a 14 now. So I'm on the 14 and um, <clears throat> every time I say ah ah ah, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna press the button. So that's the cue for you guys, all right? Ah 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 means button. Okay, let's go. So we've been doing this already, so <laughs> he's walking nicely. <laughs> <laughs> So if you watch, starts walking slow, ah, 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 all the way till he's back. And so I'm doing a verbal correction, I'm doing a leash correction, and then I'm doing this. Okay, and that's how I'm, that's just what I'm doing today. Ah, 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 good, good boy. And then when he listens to me, I'm gonna pet him, let him, let him know he's doing a good job. Let's go back to Mr. Dean. Ah, 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 ah. And now sometimes I'll alternate. I'll use the e-collar and then I won't use the e-collar. It's, it's, it's good to practice a good balance. You don't want the dog to think that it's gonna get shocked every single time it does something wrong. Now by doing all three things at the same time, Eventually, you're not even going to need the e-collar anymore and all you're going to have to say is uh-uh or whatever no and the dog's going to It's going to respect you more because he might think that the, the shock collar is coming So by doing it by mixing it up, you're really making the dog think And you're making the dog understand that no matter what kind of tool is on the dog He has to listen no matter what even if he doesn't even have a leash or a collar, he still has to listen. And so, uh, basically that's what we're working on where we're getting him used to the e-collar and small amounts of correction. It's at a number 14, okay? And so, <clears throat> this video is not about teaching my dog how to walk. It's about teaching my dog that the, the sensation that you're getting is coming from me and it's because you're doing something wrong. And so, stick along because I'm doing this in pre preparation of my dog's aggression towards food okay and um, so that's pretty much it thank you hey, look at Miss B <laughs> Miss like, B on, you you're sad here. sad girl coming to the end of the walk I'm not even using the e-collar anymore and Uso's tail is up and confident so this kind of tells you that the e-collar training didn't affect them in any negative way. And that's that's the what you want, you guys. You want to keep your relationship good. All right? You don't want to abuse him with the e-collar just so that he can obey you and accomplish something in one day. It's a process. All right? So look at that. Look at his tail. He's not scared. He's okay. And watch. I'll correct him, but I have no e-collar, e right? And then my other hand's holding the phone. Let me just show you. See how he slows down. Tail is still up. You know. He's good. Even if he gets a shock, it's not hurting him. He's not scared of it. He's not paranoid. He's not scared that he's going to get punished. Right? It's a, I'm showing him a fair relationship, you guys. And the slower, the better. All right, you don't have to rush into things, you guys. You have your dog's 
for 10 plus years so there's a lot of time to correct your dog but just do it in a way where it's fair for the dog you know what i mean and by doing that you get a dog that is still confident that still wants to play that still wants to tug that still wants to obey you still wants to walk all right Uso, you did a good job bro real good job fantastic job bro fantastic job how you like that smell that's your shit focus break good boy i'll take your piss and so even after the e-collar training on the walk notice it's still on him and i'm not taking it off right away because if I take it off right away, then he'll start to think, oh, all that shocking came from that collar, right? So by leaving it on, he just gets desensitized to it. He just feels like it's a normal thing. Dogs are smart and they'll connect the dots. So you got to be smarter than a dog. And that's just, this is just how I do it. I'm just sharing you guys my methods. This is not a how-to video. This is just my experience and you guys can... Learn from it. Learn from my mistakes. And learn from my success. And so, eventually, I'm going to be doing some e-collar corrections if he's showing me food aggression. But we're not going to do that right now. I'm not ready for it. And so, that's the whole reason why we're doing the e-collar training with other things before we hop onto the food aggression. Because... When it comes down to the food aggression, it's a very serious thing. And when I correct them with the e-collar, it's going to be a big correction. So I want to make sure that he fully understands the e-collar. I want to make sure he fully understands that the e-collar comes on because he's doing something wrong. And when he feels that e-collar, it's coming from me. So he understands that I'm in control of him. And so that is why I'm doing this. And I want to show you guys the whole process of everything. So that way you guys can see that I don't just go straight into the e-collar and shock the shit out of my dog. Uh, in my opinion, you can really fuck up your relationship. So this is how I'm handling it. So I just took Uso out of the cage. And this is basically how I'm going to be feeding him. I just give him the food. I don't do any obedience. I just give him the food, let him eat, and I walk away. And I don't bug him, okay? And this is um, basically how I'm gonna be feeding him. And when I start doing the training with corrections, um, it's going to be only once a week. And we're gonna do it with um, corrections with well we're going to do corrections slowly first i'm going to be doing verbal then i'm going to move on to the prong collar and then eventually we're going to lead up to the e-collar and we're only going to correct them when he growls all right because if you guys don't know i've been doing um resource technique that's good and it works in some cases um it's a really good technique for puppies but when so from my experience I've been doing it for about a month and there's times where it's good and there's times where it's bad and he goes back to his old ways and I feel like the reason why he's doing that is because there's really there's no repercussions for what he's doing so now I'm gonna have to start incorporating um, some corrections and it's um, torn because it's he's gonna be eating while I correct them, so I feel bad because you know I'm interrupting his feeding time. But you have to, sometimes you have to weigh out the you have to weigh out the situation and the danger. Like yeah, I might feel bad for the dog because we're doing this while he's eating. But what would I rather happen? Do I would I do I want one of my family members to be bitten and get bit and have danger towards them? Or do I want my dog to just eat in peace? 
you know if i continue to let my dog eat in peace and he shows these aggressions then that's danger for my family so now i have to step in and let him know that bro my family comes first before you and you need to understand that the people that i love and the people that you live with around me should be respected and if you don't respect them then i'm going to punish you for that okay but my approach to all this is a gradual approach okay i'm not just gonna slap an e-collar on him and shock him at 70 or 60. you know that's not fair to him so i'm gonna work on it slowly i'm gonna do different exercises and then we're gonna see from those exercises if it's working or not and if it's not working then the e-collar correction at a high number is going to be my last resort and so i'm gonna record the whole process for you guys so that way if you're in the same boat as me or if you like my mental process of this whole thing then stick along because i think you guys might learn from my mistake or my success you know i don't know how it's gonna be but i'm willing to share my experience with you guys and i hope that i can grow a community um of like-minded people through this all right, and I don't know if it's gonna um, work or not. You know, I think one of the things about dog training is that you have to experiment, but do it in a way where it's fair for both you and the dog because the last thing I want is to ruin my relationship with my dog. You know, I've, I spent so many years dedicating uh, myself to the dog, sacrificing time to train my dog, sacrificing money spent for my dog and I just want to do this in a, uh, a fair way you know but um, so we'll we'll we'll, um, we'll just see what happens you guys thanks for watching thanks for supporting if you guys have any questions or advice for me okay just drop it down in the comment box below I read all the comments and if um, if it comes down to it and we we need to start having a conversation we do that through instagram all right and i'll do that through live and all that is free man it's just talking to one peers to another all right y'all peace